Over the last year, I've spoken with countless people who say, I had a happy childhood, but their behavior and their relationships and their life results tell a completely different story. Other people say they had a happy childhood despite having experienced violence against them or witnessing violence against someone else or being bullied or being neglected by their parents or caregivers. What's the reason for this? It's because a child's brain can't process, oh, my parents love me and oh, my parents are neglectful and aren't that great. It's called integrative thinking, thinking two polarizing emotions at the same time. Adult brains even have trouble with it. Trouble with it. So what do they do as a child? They shut off the painful emotion, thus saying they had a happy childhood. I can already hear countless people saying, well, what's wrong with having a happy childhood or thinking you did? Why not think you had a happy childhood? The more you know and understand about your childhood, the freer and happier you can be as an adult. When children don't know how to process emotions, what do they do? They push them down, or in other words, depress. So when you depress your emotions as a kid, you can become depressed as an adult. Depression and most other mental illnesses are caused by coping mechanisms that were created as a child to survive whatever you were going through. So it really isn't best to just forget it and say you had a happy childhood. Some say, well, I don't remember my childhood, but you certainly recall it. You can tell how you recall it based on how you react emotionally to conflict. Next time you get in an argument or have conflict with a spouse or a loved one, after you feel the emotion, identify, think about what they did. Was it really what made you feel upset? Probably not. You're likely upset because of the perception of, that, of something that you brought in from your past, from your developing brain as a child. And you wrap a story around that. Hence, like, I'm not worthy or I'm not good enough. So that's the fix. You can feel the emotion. Just don't wrap a story in from your childhood and you'll see how conflict that used to trigger you for hours or days can just go poof in the wind.